Hi everyone, this is Light Codes by Lara. I'm Lara and we're here healing the collective consciousness. I'm so excited to be introducing you to my new healing system, Fractaline Healing. This is a multi-dimensional healing system that has been in the process of being developed for the past three years or so. I have been waiting to let this out so that you guys can all use it. And what better time than the present, of course, with all that's going on in the world. So I've just put out an article, um, so you'll be able to read this, uh, basically what's being said in this video. Um, I waited to put this out until now, um, just waiting for the right time and waiting for the structure of the system to be complete enough and comprehensive enough that um, you would be able to use it in the best possible way. This healing system is so dear to my heart and I'd like to just first share um, how it all came to be. So I was awoken in the middle of the night about three years ago, um, you know, that four o'clock wake up call from spirit saying, get out of bed. <laughs> and uh, my heart was pounding and I knew there was something big happening. And so I got up and I got a piece of paper and a pen and I just started channeling. And they, my guides um, showed me this healing system, how it works, where to go, how to get there, um, and, and some of the things that you can do within the system. And then over time, then we were able to develop it further and I would ask questions and, well, what if, what if somebody did this or what if someone wanted to do that or, whatever and so so this system um, and it'll make more sense as as you learn about it but the system has multiple safeguards in place so that it is always calling forward um, the highest most optimal alignments um, everything is in full honor and integrity um, it's very heart-centered and and extremely powerful. So this system is how I do absolutely everything in my life, when I, whether I'm doing um, distance healings, whether I am connecting on a deeper level with, with my own, own aspects of myself, or I'm connecting with my guidance, or I'm looking for information for something. This is a space that I go to um, that is just, it's a sacred platform. It's, it's like, um, I don't, I don't know. I, it's, it's so multidimensional and, and there's so many opportunities here, um, that it really just begs for more exploration. So, um, it's, it's a little bit complicated initially, but then once, once you know how to get there, it's very easy. Um, it's like it's like when you're driving home from work you your body knows how to get there You don't even have to think about it anymore. You can check out listen to the radio listen to your favorite podcast or whatever um, your Favorite music you your body can take you there And so this is a similar idea is that is the first time or two um, You know, it might be a little bit like oh I don't know if I could return there but you absolutely can and your soul and your higher self are going to recognize this space. Um, although it is considered a rather new existence, um, of course time doesn't really happen in a linear fashion the way we experience it as humans. Um, so it's been around forever and for no time at all. <laughs> so um, in any case, your, your soul is going to know how to work with this, your, your higher self will know how to work with this, and your guidance will know how to work with this. Um, so, like I said, over the past several years, we've been developing this um, new multi-level, multi-dimensional healing system. It is accessed through altering our brain waves and conscious state. So we will have to meditate in order to get into this state. Within the system are opportunities to heal yourself and others, um, increase your energy, connect with guidance, set powerful intentions, um, bring forward knowledge from the soul. There's, there's actually a location for manifesting within this space. So we'll talk about like the, like it is mind blowing what can occur in this space. And that's why I'm so excited to finally be sharing it with you. 
uh, this system is called fractaline healing because it is actually um, it's actually a fractal. So it's a, it's a location within um, the quantum field that's being sort of manifested and and it there's these layers to it that we get to explore. So once we've gone into the first layer and we're really familiar with that, then the second layer opens up. And once we're ready, then another layer appears to us. So we're only shown um, what we're ready for. So there's four layers that I'm currently um, aware of. <laughs> so the first layer is the grid, and that's partly how the name came to be with fractaline. It's a combination between fractal and crystalline, um, because this is like uh, a like a rainbow plasma diamond grid, like crystalline, as in um, as in light prismed light. Um, in, in appearance and structure. Uh, level two would be the manifestation platform. Level three is currently called the central sun because it looks like a giant sun and that's how I know to call it right now. Level four is a nondescript, non deeply personal experience. So once you get into that space, now you're connecting on a whole different level that is uniquely um, your experience. Um, there's no description there because each person will have their own very special and unique experience and it is only for them. Um, so the grid looks, so the first level, the crystalline grid looks crystalline in nature and is connected with our heart. The grid is a rainbow diamond plasma grid. It is encoded with light language and light codes for optimal activation and healing on all levels of our being. Upgrades to the structure and composition of our RNA and DNA can occur here, as well as powerful physical, mental, emotional um, changes to our well-being. The grid is in part for connecting our galactic being with the earth plane. So we get very grounded before we find ourselves in this location so that anything that can happen within the grid um, is being anchored within our body. It doesn't serve us very well to leave our body and go get some information. And then it's actually can be very hard to bring that information back completely. And often it comes back in little trickles here and there. So we try to be very grounded before we even go so that we are more connected to our body, more connected to the earth plane. And, um, and we're connecting to that really higher uh, frequency so that it can come in more completely. The grid is a location within the quantum field. So, and is part of a, of a greater fractal system of the fractaline healing. The grid provides a sacred location for healing self with specific issues, mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, um, provides a sacred location for shadow work and any other healing modalities or practices, methods that you may have. Um, you can enhance, optimize, and potentize light language and light codes, such as those from the Little Book of Light Codes. Connect with spirit guides, um, spirit animals, archangels, and any other divine entity or energy of the light. It provides a brilliant place for distance healing provides a location to also interact with questionable energies or entities, beings. Um, so the grid itself offers protection and guidance um, so that we can find resolution in the light. Uh, provides a launching pad for other med meditations so we can transition into other meditations from the grid. And it is the first platform of this multidimensional um, healing system of fractaline healing. The grid is a beautiful living three-dimensional grid or graph. Its squares um, are created by lines stretching horizontally and, and vertically that appear to continue into infinity. The vertical lines and the horizontal lines of the grid connect, making squares similar to that of graph paper. Uh, which are experienced three-dimensionally. The lines express themselves as a prismed array of translucent colors shining and shimmering 
uh, playfully dancing in the rhythm and love of the universe. It is absolutely gorgeous, I'm telling you. The space is healing and very supportive. The lines themselves have depth, appearing tubular in shape, creating a sense and a knowing that we could enter into the grid. Once we do enter into the grid, um, we are now inside the grid. Once inside, we experience this vast space. The feeling of being suspended in water or almost like we're in a cocoon um, can wash over us. Um, but it's just in this most comforting and supporting way. But, th but there's also this knowing that we have all the freedom to explore um, the grid's lines that feel like they just go on forever, and they probably do. <laughs> By entering into the lines of the grid, our chakras are immediately aligned. So once we transition from we're outside the grid and then we go in, it's an immediate reaction. Our chakras are aligned and our etheric matrix of our, of our body is aligned to our physical body. So a lot of sickness, illness can occur um, by various traumas like physical traumas or emotional traumas or what have you. Um, our etheric body can get knocked off um, our physical body or vice versa. And this creates um, sort of a, a lessening of, uh, or a lessening of energy. So we've lost energy um, because we don't have that good alignment. So this entering the grid aligns everything back up really nicely. And it's an instantaneous reaction that occurs. So from there, from the grid, we can transition to the manifestation platform. Um, you do have to be ready to take on the next level and it will be presented to you when you are ready. Uh, so when we enter the manifestation platform, we notice ourselves standing upon a dark, flat surface which stretches out to infinity lengthwise. There is substantial width to this platform. Um, once inside, one side of it is actually um, like kind of solid while the other side kind of drops off uh, into the void. So if you're looking to get into the void, this is another way to go. Um, inside this space, we it's a sacred and protected by, by universal law, it is bound in the highest good for all. Um, and it is an optimal space for manifesting and, and it amplifies greatly the choices and decisions that, that we are making as an individual and putting out there um, to be amplified. Then we can transition when we're ready to the central sun and then we can transition further um, to this nondescript location um, within what I'm currently calling the central sun. This might change, I'm not sure, um, we'll see how it all goes, but currently that's what it is. And then when we want to come back, we, because this is actually a very deep process, we need to retrace our steps. So the further we've gone, the further we need to retrace back. So let's just say we've made it to the manifestation platform, then we need only think about the grid and we end up back to the grid. And once we're in the grid, we focus on our breath, we focus on our feet, going back to our deep breathing, getting really deeply connected to our physical body again, and then when we're ready, we can open our eyes. So that is a really quick summary um, that barely even touches all that happens within the grid and the system. Um, so check out the next video that's going to be the meditation to get you into the grid, the first level of fractal line healing. Thank you so much for watching. Check out Light Codes by Lara on social, um, my website as well, lightcodesbylara.com. And uh, I'd love to hear from you guys and let me know how this experience goes for you all. All blessings, so much love to you. See you later.